Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at Hazel. Now, Hazel is an application that lives in the menu bar and it's got a number of great features for automation. I did a part one of this screencast and so if you haven't seen that yet, you may want to go back and watch that first before you watch this one because I covered all of the different features of the application. In this screencast, what I'm going to do is show you how to use it to do some more advanced things. And I'm going to show you with some of the setups that I have going on my own Mac. So here I am in the Hazel application in System Preferences. I'm in the Folders tab. And you'll notice I've got a few different folders set up here. And you notice I have them numbered because what I've done is I've put a series of steps together to get my files to a certain location. So you can see here I have uh, one folder that says OCR files, uh, one that says add name, one that says send to file. And so let me walk you through how I have that set up and then I can do a demonstration of it. So the first thing I have is I've added a rule for OCR file. Now if I ever want to edit this, all I have to do is select it and I can change the name. Or if I just select it like that, I can hit the pencil here for edit. And this shows you how this rule is set up. And you can see here I've got any file and I'm running an Apple script that I've embedded in here. And so one of the nice things about Hazel is you can run Apple scripts. If I just uh, click on edit the script, I want to show you what the script looks like. It's a very simple script here to basically open whatever it is that I've scanned or put into that folder. If it's a PDF, open it in PDF Pen Pro 6 and then it's going to run OCR on it close the application and uh, take care of it that way. So that's my embedded script. And then what I'm going to do once it's run the Apple script, it's going to move it into the add name folder that I have set up in Hazel as well. Okay, so this is so that I can OCR so that it can read inside the contents of whatever file I've put in there. I'm just going to go ahead and say cancel, discard changes. Now when I come to add names, what I've done is I've added rules for things that I have that show up over and over again because what I'm going to do is I'm going to name these things. And so you can see here we've got something from the 99 cent store. Uh, my wife will go there, so this is a rule. And so what I'm going to do is just show you the edit on that. And so we'll let that run and come up here. And so this is a rule that will rename. So again, if the contents of the file contain 99 cent only and again because I've OCR'd it it can read inside the file then what it's going to do is it's going to rename it with the date created and then this naming convention we're going to add tags to it one for uh, visa one for receipts and then we're going to move it into the send to file area okay so those are the rules that I have set up there and I've got that set up for various things let me just go ahead and say cancel for different things that I have that will show up and recur over and over again nice thing is you can add as many of these in there that you want uh, and so depending on what you have monthly that you're scanning into your system or that you're downloading and maybe moving into your system you would put those in here and set up rules just like the one I just showed you so it's going to move into that area and then finally we have send to file and what this is is I've got specific locations that I want to file these things inside a DevonThink Pro database. And so if I just pull this uh, Visa one up here for you and let me just go ahead and say edit. What you'll see is as long as any of the tags contain Visa then what it's going to do is it's going to run an automator workflow and I've got a specific automator workflow for uh, Amazon Visa files. And then when I'm done, I'm going to move the file to the trash because what it's going to do is copy it into DevonThink Pro Office and then the file that's left will be moved to the trash. Uh, so let me show you what this automator script looks like. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that and I'm going to pull up one of my automator scripts here. Let me just pull this one up for you. And what you can see is that when you add DevonThink Pro um, to your Mac, it gives you some automator actions. And so you can see the first one up here that I have is to set the current group and I can select whatever database that I've got. In this case, I'm selecting this one for 2019 finances. And then it'll show me all of the different groups inside this particular database. And so in my case, it's going to go to a group or a folder inside of DevonThink for Amazon Visa. And then it's going to add the item to the current group. We're going to do it by importing it from that folder into DevonThink Pro Office. Okay, so now I've got this automator script that will run as well. And you can set this up for every single one of them. And you can see I've set one of these automator scripts up for all of the different uh, groups or folders inside of my DevonThink Pro database. And so it's going to do that and take care of it. So that's my system that I'm using to uh, OCR files, get them named, and then move them into DevonThink. And I can do that uh, all at once. It'll automatically do it when something gets put into that folder. So it's a really uh, great 
uh, setup for me. It's been working well for me for a while now. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you that I did add is I did add a receipts folder uh, where I'm going to move that into the inbox, which is where all this OCR stuff happens. Uh, what I do is I have a receipts folder uh, that I have sitting in Dropbox, and then any PDF that I move into that receipts folder, it gets moved from that folder that's in Dropbox into this move to inbox folder or the inbox where it was before so it can start running everything through that system. So I've even got it set up if I'm on my iOS devices or I've got email or something like that, that I can just move things into my system and it all takes care of itself. Even when I'm away from home, it'll take care of it through the sync that happens with Dropbox. So that gives you an idea of my system. So now that you've got that idea, let me just go ahead and do a demonstration and show you how it works. Okay, so here I have a test PDF. So what I'm gonna do is just go into my inbox here and I'm gonna drop it into number one. So we're gonna drop it there and Hazel should start to do its thing pretty soon. It can take a little bit of time for it to figure it out. There you see it's actually bringing up a PDF Pen Pro and it's doing the OCR for me. Once that's done and finished, then it should move it into the add name. Sometimes that might take a minute or two, so you may have to just wait for it to run. Uh, what I'm going to do is let it finish its OCRing, and then we'll see what happens when it moves it over. Okay, so as you can see, it's moved into the add name area, and so now it's going to load it in there. You can see now it's moved to send a file. You can see it's named it, and as you can see in the background there, it's added it right into my DevonThink database right here. So everything's been added and set up and ready to go. Uh, let me just go ahead and close this out. So that gives you an idea of how the system works. Like I said, uh, Hazel is a great application to set these kinds of things up. And I wanted to show you my own system there so that you have an idea of how it works yourself, uh, just so that you could set up your own if you wanted to. Uh, so let me know again in the comments if there's some other things you want me to do with Hazel or to show you how to use it. Uh, I'd be glad to uh, look at different ways we can set up some of the automation now that you get an idea for how powerful this application is. Well, that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own Mac or software or need some troubleshooting help, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.